Hello, this is Christian. In this episode, we're going to look at views and a lot of our project. So views are stored inside the resources folder under the views directory here. So there's one by default. I'm going to create a view in here, call it uh, index.blade.php. Okay, so this is a blade template. I also want to create another one in a minute, but let's go ahead and populate this first. So here is the index page. Uh, the title, I'll just call it um, homepage. And we'll give it a um, yeah some something here for now. H1 home. Okay, so this is the blade templex here. I'm going to create another one here. Um, I'll call it about.php. This is a also a template as well. Um, and I want to show you the difference between the two. Okay, so this is about me. And put here again, H1 about me. Okay, so this is a PHP file. Um, <clears throat> you can also use just plain HTML. I'll show you another one. So we call this one here contact.html. Okay, um, not that useful, I guess, but you can certainly, absolutely. Uh, this is contact me, and we'll put one here, contact me. Okay, so three different te templates here. Uh, of course, this HTML, you cannot put any uh, PHP or um, other code in here. Um, well, I guess you, you could uh, try it, but I don't think so. Now let's go back to the routes page. It's almost impossible to create templates without routes, you know? So I wanna try not to go too much into routes, um, but it's gonna run in here using just these things here. So I'm gonna create three routes in here and we'll learn routes later in the next video. So. And they'll follow this very similar uh, rules here. I'm going to go ahead and delete all these comments. I don't need this anymore. Okay, so give us some more space. So I'm going to copy this and put down here three of them. And this is going to go to the route of the home page. Well, I, you know what? This is the home already. So I'm going to change it to welcome. I'm not going to use that anymore. I'll use the index for that one. Okay, so notice again the view function takes the, the name of the view as the first argument here okay the name of the view is called index i do not include that dot blade in here if you put index dot blade it's going to have a really different result and we'll talk about that later when we'll talk about nested templates okay so at the root level it's called the index this one here is going to go to the about page so this is the url pattern and then a callback function to load the about view again this is the same um thing here uh, about PHP, even though I did not did I use Blade. And we'll try the contact here, see if this one loads. So this is the contact. I have an extra one, I'm gonna delete this one here for now. Okay, so let's save this and make sure again, your application is running. If it's not, make sure you run it. And so let's go to the site. And as you can see, this is the home page, right? Looks good, make it big, you can see. Go to the about page. And here is the about me and go to contact. Okay, so you can see I can load three different types of templates, just plain HTML, um, a regular PHP file and a blade template. So what's the difference? Okay, and why and when do you, when should you use it? Well, my recommendation is not, not to use HTML at all, okay? Um, totally not, not cool. Um, the about page here is okay if you use this, you are kind of like um, getting away from the blade templates because you are not using blade syntax. What I mean is in here, you're not allowed to put blade syntax in here. So let's say I put here um, a blade syntax that's like this, you know, one plus one or two plus two. I expect you to get a four here, all right? So I'm gonna save this. I'll copy this same thing and put inside the index blade down here so you can see the difference you can see the syntax here is different um i'll show you in a bit how to get the syntax here so go back to the web page again and we're not going to do with the contact here go to the about page refresh it you will see that because this is not a blade uh, template the blade syntax is not rendered it's not parsed and you can see the actual code in here so really that's not safe because if you have some you know sensitive code you can actually reveal your code to the public which is not cool and then the index page, as you can see, you can get the result of that, right? That's what you want because it's now rendered by blade. You don't see that is already the interpolated result. 
So the blade view can, um, this blade here, you can include both PHP and blade syntax. This is blade. I can do one here. Um, I can do here, it says equal to, um, I don't know, it's just something, okay? I'll do the same thing, equal to the PHP syntax, uh, you know, two plus two. Same thing, right? This is the short syntax. So it can take both PHP and Blady syntax. So let's go back to the browser and refresh our page and should get a four equal four, okay? So that's that's pretty cool. Now, my recommendation again is not to include a lot of PHP code in here because again, that's defeating the purpose of the Blade syntax, the Blade template system. So try not to use them at all if you can, right? Um, anything that is uh, uh, in PHP code, you should, you know, pass it to the template as opposed to put all your code here. You want to, you know, prevent that from happening because you don't want to put too much code in here. And if you do that, you go back to just a regular PHP code. Okay. So um, with that said, I'm going to modify this index page, uh, actually uh, uh, some of these here. And I have some of these actual information on the sides. I'm just going to copy and paste it in here because I like to have um, uh, certain things here. So in my index page, I'm gonna have a ID of, I call it title. And I'm gonna have a variable called title in here. So I'll call it title and that can go in here. So it could just be like homepage or something, okay? And below that, I'm gonna have a, um, maybe I put here, um, uh, what should I put? I want to make sure it looks kind of nice. I'm going to use the CSS as well. So let's put here the div container div here and um, a container is it, what's what I call it. Because I have a CSS here. I, I, I'll, I'll share this with you as well. Not here, the public folder. Okay, I'll use the, um, the main container. Okay, so the main container class is for that one. So I'm going to put here main container. And that is going to be, this is a class, I think, right? Uh, yeah, a dot, so it's a class. Okay. And um, under this one here, we have a div. So this is my entire container. Okay, on the top of that, I have my H1. And then, um, actually, no, let's move this to the top. Let's go up here. Um, I have a header here. You know, I don't like this because it doesn't give me the um, completion here. I do type like that. So the header, inside the header, I'm gonna have a, um, a logo, okay, image. As I'll see here, logo will go to somewhere else. We'll put here alt uh, logo something. I'll fill that later. And right below that is why my Im image one is, okay. Um, yeah, I put here, uh, not ID, but I put here the, the model. Okay, I call the model, the title here. And then underneath that, I'm gonna have a div container of my stuff. Um, up here also my navigation, I'll put here the nav. Again, I typically don't like this nav. And then I use the UL, LI. And then for each of these L, I'm gonna have navigation links. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I'm gonna pause this and I'll just come back in really quickly to um, uh, fill you up. Okay, so I'm uh, sorry for cheating, but <laughs> I'll provide this uh, code if you need it. So I fill up here, I added the uh, style sheet as well. It's coming from the public folder, CSS, main.css. As you can see here, I put the asset function as opposed to just directly link to that. Uh, you can also use a URL function as well. Either one will be fine. Or you can remove it completely and just, you know, slash uh, um, CSS and, and main CSS. That's fine too. Now, I guess the advantage of using asset here is that maybe later on in the future, they might change some way how you can actually, uh, you know, um, load this content. So you use the function as opposed to just the regular CSS link. But it doesn't matter. So that one there, I added a logo here. I'm just basically grabbed this logo from the... Um, a lot of a website, just a regular plain logo with that the image logo. And then also have a model here about Black Ninja, I like Ninja, so I put that here. 
And then my navigation will have four links to the homepage, about page, contact page, and portfolio page, okay? And I also put a hello, a greeting message that goes to the guest, welcomes the guest. Down in the main body of the content, I have a div container I created earlier. I have a main section. Um, at the bottom, I have a footer. So I put here just a footer, some information here. As you can see, um, this one here is not gonna work. Actually, um, yeah, I don't have that one there. I should probably load that from this as well. I think it's called, let me copy this. Um, I think it should match that. And let me just go like that. We'll see if it works, okay? It should be the logo min type, the, the, the word Laravel. So the photo here, I put a JavaScript in here, print the uh, current year, and then the name will be um, a name variable. We can pass to this, like my name, for example, and then some, something like that. Okay, so now up here, um, so this is a, what would the page look like? The content, I just put some information about, you know, Black Ninja. I pulled that directly from the wiki page um, and I put a title here. Again, it's a variable. You're gonna pass this to template here as well. And so I wanna save this and run in the browser and see what this page looks like. So let's go to the browser and refresh the homepage. And hopefully it comes in nice and clean. Okay, well, it has some variable and thing. Okay, this is undefined. So if that's the case, then it's not gonna, it's not gonna work, okay? So let's fix those first. It's too big, let's go back to 100 percentage. Okay, so let's fix the title uh, first, but um, without that, it's not going to work. So let's go back here. I need the title um, and the name down here as well. Okay, the name will be just like my name. Um, you know, you can pass it here. I, you know what, I'm just gonna call it my name. I, I'm not gonna use a variable here. Just put it here uh, like that, okay? Um, and the title here would be um, yeah, whatever this title is, we'll, we'll give it a name. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so let's go back to the browser. I mean, to the, um, where's that file, the routes? Okay, this is the index one right here, right? So I'm passing some data to the index page and index is gonna receive this data. So I'm using the array here, it's an it's associate array, the key value pair. So I have a title field that is gonna be mapped to a variable, um, the string of, I don't know, welcome to my home page, just something like that. So the title will go there, um, about will be the same thing. You give it a title as well uh, and later on. For, for now, I wanna make sure that's fixed first. And let me close this and let's go try again. See what happens. Uh, all right, so there you go, looks good. Woo. All right, okay, so here is the logo I mentioned about come from Laravel site and just the word Laravel here is the logo as well. And so this is the home page. Um, and that what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna go and go to the about, as you can see, we had it earlier and the contact page, as you can see, it's already working. Okay, because we already uh, put that in the code. I don't have the portfolio yet, but we're gonna add that. Okay, so, so far so good. Now let's go back and um, finish up the other pages. So the about page, I'm gonna change this to the template, okay? And I don't like this one here. I'll just show you what it looks like, but I'm gonna change it back to blade. Uh, PHP and the same thing with the contact here as well. But change it to uh, contact.blade. HP. And we'll do one more for the portfolio. I'm just gonna save it for here, portfolio, that blade, that PHP. Okay, um, so let's look at the about page first. Um, so I'm gonna change this again. I have some content I wanna add to that one there. Um, well, actually you not know, before I do this. Okay, so usually, you want everything to look the same, right? You want to have the logo, the navigation, everything on all those pages. And the traditional way is, of course, to copy this as a regular HTML. But Laravel, you know, you don't have to do this. You want to um, split this up just like a PHP file. You include the header and the navigation, the footer, the main content in their own separate files, and then you merge them together, right? So in Laravel, you can do that using what's called a master page, uh, you know, or, or a root page or a root template. 
the same thing like in Express or um, the .NET or whatever, okay? And then using that method, then I can move all of these, um, you know, to a, a section. I can move the logo or navigation to a section or a, a partial, we call it a partial view. Um, I can do the main content in its own uh, template. So this would be the index page has the main content and I move the navigation, I mean the footer to its own uh, uh, area as well. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And you do that by creating subdirectories to hold your views. If you are um, from Express background, this will look very familiar when you use the handlebars template, right? There's a layout and then there's a partial view and, then, and then so forth. So I'm gonna create a fo two folders in the views folder, okay? One is called a layouts and have another one, make sure it's in the views folder, call it partials. So for one for partial views, one for layouts, which is the root template. So inside here, I'm going to create a file called master.blade. PHP. And this would be my master layout. Um, and I put some stuff inside this page. So what do I need? Well, if you look at this index page, what should go in there? That will be repeating across all your views. So I'm thinking about, um, so I, here's how I'm doing. I'm gonna copy everything here. Okay, copy everything here. Put in the master blade file. Now, what things I don't need to be in here? So let me collapse this section and this footer area and, and so on. So what you can do is with this master page, you want to retain what's the same, what's not. So the header should be the same. The only thing that should be different is the main content here, okay? So what you can do is that you can then move all these out, okay? Uh, move all these out and in its place, you're going to include them in to this area. And you do that by using a directory called yield, this is yield function, and then you can pass in here an ID. ID really just a unique um, keyword. So I'm gonna inject all the content, all the unique, or I guess different content to this area. So that means in the index page, I'm going to inject the content, I just delete it back in here, okay? And then this is the, uh, the footer, so I can do the same thing. I can move this out to another view and I'll call it, um, you know, I, I include it back in. Okay, so this is to be unique. The title page also should be unique. So here I would do another yield right in here. So yield, this function takes uh, two parameters. The first is the name of that um, variable. So we call it title. And the second parameter is the default value. So I call it home page. I just do that as fine. The default is home page, and if I don't include anything to this variable, then it's going to be called home page. If I change it, like about or portfolio or contact, then the title will be changed to that particular uh, value. Okay. So the yield here means I can in, in, inject data dynamically to this area, and same thing here as well. Okay. So now the header and the footer area. Uh, you can leave it as is, it's okay, but I want to use partials, all right? So inside the partials folder, right in here, we're going to create two blades uh, files. This is the nav.blade.php for my navigation. And I'm going to create another one here for the footer.blade.php. Okay, so um, back into the master blade here, I'm going to copy well, actually move the footer area, all this footer content can exit out, cut it, and paste it into the blade file in here for the footer, okay? So this is now done. And then in its place, I'm not gonna go yield, okay? Yield is only used when you navigate to that particular view. What I wanna do is like the include, like the regular include in PHP. Um, so I'm gonna use the directive called include, which is very similar to PHP. Inside here is the name of that um, uh, content or partial view. It's called uh, footer. So again, you want to make sure you navigate to the right place. If you just put footer here, I'm looking at the root directory of the views folder. So I'm not gonna find the uh, attendant called footer. 
where is it at? It's inside the partials folder. So therefore you have to say, I have to write partials and uh, Blaze syntax use the dot to separate a directory. Okay, which is kind of odd because you know from PHP standpoint, you also you also so used to the arrow here, right? When you you call objects or uh, uh, sub objects uh, data fields, but they do use the dot notation here uh, to signify that it's a directory called partials, and then inside the partials folder there is a footer template. Okay, so that's why I mentioned earlier that if you put like uh, welcome dot blade. You got to get something really different because it, you're referring to a subdirectory. Okay, so the same thing with the header area. So this is the entire um, footer I and mean, header. So when I move all these out, cut it, put inside the navigation up here, and uh, just save this file. Yeah, I can close actually, and then back in here again, I will use the include. Same thing. Partials. Dot map. Okay, if you want to pass any data to this, you can. Um, in my navigation, I don't, I don't think I have any data here. Yeah, if I have any data, I want to pass this to this uh, template. Uh, I can do so um, in, in, in here as well. Maybe we'll do that later. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm thinking, I don't know, should my navigation go above or before the main container? Um, maybe I should put it inside, inside here, okay? So to be consistent, let's move it down uh right in here so they're all nice and clean okay so my navigation and my content and the footer now my master page as you can see is very clean right so this content here and this id here title here are two key values so that when I inject data it needs to find that particular um area so this is the template say that now in the index page and here is how I'm going to do. So all of these are already taken, right? From here all the way to the container here. The only thing that is unique is really just what's inside the main tag inside here. So let me, um, yeah, it's inside here. Okay, so this is unique for every, every template. So what you can do is you can do what's called a template inheritance. So that I'm going to use the extends like, um, you know, like a um, class, when it extends the main layout called the master's layout, it's inside the layout folder, it's called master, right? Okay, that means you use the master layout and then inject this content in the main area, okay? Where does it go? It's gonna go into a section. So you put this section here, the section is called content. And I, and I close down here, the um, the section. So I think you just call it the end of uh, the section. Okay, so that's what it means. Inject these content inside this section here and use the layouts called master. And this should go inside a ID called content. In this case, that's what we call it. We call it content. Okay. And if you call it something else, then you want to make sure that matches that as well. So let me save this file and in the, um, the routes, it would still be just called index. Okay, so I'm not calling the main or which is the master. I'm calling the actual template, which in this case, like, it's almost like a partial view in a sense, the index template. And if everything works correctly, the page should still sticks. Okay, as you can see, it works just fine. Okay, so you can see how that works. We're gonna go and do the same thing for the other pages as well. And that should be um, fairly simple. Okay, so same thing. I'm gonna copy, this This is good. I'm gonna close this now. I'm gonna go to my blade here and copy everything here over. So just copy everything here over, copy whole thing, put into the about page and do like that. And so the title, I'm gonna change that, uh, but I'm gonna change the content here. In, in a minute, um, let's see about, again, this is just something I added over. So inside the section here, I'm gonna delete the whole section and replace it with just a rare, regular paragraph about me, for example, okay? <laughs> so you put that here, notice the H1 and title should be the same. I'm gonna copy the same thing and put into the contact blade and then uh, the same thing for the portfolio, okay? So the contact, um, 
uh, contact page again i'll use a form just just to show that it um, more of like a a, um, a contact page but we'll see how this form may not work yet doesn't do anything here um the portfolio i'll leave it as is for now and i'm going to change it uh, um a little bit later i'll just call the title of my project inside here i'll leave this out and we'll do that in, in, in later okay so for now i want to make sure it works so let's go back to the browser and review the pages about so here we go um oh the title i didn't include it yet yep gotta fix that first if that doesn't uh, provide it it's not provided it's not going to work so here i need to do the same thing so let me copy this and put it inside each of these routes here um here i also need the portfolio some reason i don't have that one there so we'll put here portfolio and the portfolio template yeah so here i would just call it my um projects be now the exclamation mark uh, this will be just contact me and about me okay so i think those are the fields that i needed save that again go back to the browser and refresh so here's the about me page the contact page is a form um and nothing works here as you can see and then there's portfolio we're going to add some data to as well we do the data model all right so that is how you use view so one last thing before we go now notice that when i navigate to these different tabs the title reflects here but it does not reflect in the tab right it still says home page i want this to also say about me uh contact me portfolio and so on okay so that's one thing that we need to also include in the template so if you go back to the uh, code again right inside the blade uh each of these blade um not the navigation here the blade here so notice again the master file we have a yield title here because we did not include that um particular data so it's going to be called home page every time so what you want to do is in the index page is what we call home so that's okay we can ignore that but in the about page right up here you're going to include a section um called um title right and then what's the title is going to be well it's going to be the title that we pass to that particular page which is this title here which is coming from where from here so when I pass the title to the contact page or about page and so forth, I use it inside inside my template here, but I also want to pass this along to the master page. So I'm going to copy this and watching not the entire uh, curly braces. You can't put it here, just the title variable. And you pass that as the second argument to replace the title of that page. So then I'm going to copy this and put it in every other template. So save that here, go to the contact page, put it here and the portfolio um index uh, why not we can do that too index right here okay um but if you do that the index page i have it the title which is welcome uh, maybe not maybe not the, not the index i just call it home okay um so that's fine okay so save that and review your page for this last time so home to say home page about is now you can see about me about me contact and portfolio of my projects in this case okay so i hope this um helped clarify so you can use a master page and a partial views to render your data so again notice that the partial views are rendered every time um the others are only when you navigate to that particular route okay so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video